Now, a lot of people say to me, Adam, you keep putting these reviews up of NAS devices, NAS this, NAS that. What is it all about? So in this video, with QNAP's help, and I'm gonna run through a whole bunch of their devices uh, through this video, I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what NAS is, why you would want it, and when you can use it. Now I'm going to be doing a whole range of these different videos looking more and more into kind of enterprise type computing. I'm going to go through with you servers, virtualization, SANs, vSANs, vNetworking, a whole bunch of different things. If you guys are looking forward to that and you definitely want me to continue with that, please do go ahead and hit that like button. Now additionally, like I say, I'm going to be using QNAP devices through this. QNAP make some of the best NAS devices out there on the market today. They've got a ridiculously huge range of devices, everything right the way up from a basic home unit all the way up to a very, very enterprise ready unit. So they are a great company, great people to buy from and I'll leave links down to all of their stuff in the video description below. If you go ahead and purchase one of them, you will be very, very happy with it. I can guarantee you, you guys know I use it myself. Now, on to the video itself. What is NAS? So like I say, so many people keep saying to me, Adam, you keep putting these reviews up. Why would I ever want to use it? What is it? Well, NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. And I'm not going to go into a huge technical amount of detail here because it will get very boring very, very quickly. If you'd like me to, leave me a comment down below and I'll consider that for a future video. But Network Attached Storage, what is it? The best way to understand it is to look at those three words and just imagine it as that. Network attached storage, storage that we attach to the network. Now you guys are all very, very familiar with storage. You've got flash storage in your phone, in your tablet. You've also got hard drive and SSD storage in your laptops and your personal computers. But in all of those situations, there is one major downfall. And that is that typically, if you lose that one drive that you've got in your computer, then you're gonna lose all of your data. And whether you've got SSD flash or whether you've got a physical spinning hard drive, they are all susceptible to that kind of data loss. Now, in some cases, in personal computers, you can have multiple drives and you can use RAID configurations to put those drives together to give you a certain element of resilience and redundancy against data loss. But what about the laptops in the house? Typically, we've got multiple machines now. What about your phones? What about all of these different things? Do you want to use cloud storage? Do you want to pay monthly fees to store all of this information? Do you want to worry about where your data is and how people are using it? If any of these things kind of apply to you, then NAS is a great solution for that. Now, like I say, network attached storage. So the idea is, is that you're taking the storage from your machine, although you're still leaving it there, you're taking some storage and you're putting it on the network in a secure and resilient and redundant format. Now, if we take a look at a NAS, for example, this one here, this is the TS453A. This is a kind of high-end NAS solution from QNAP. This would be a fantastic box for any household that's out there today. This one, as you can see, there's four drive bays on the front of it, meaning you can get a great deal of storage into this. And obviously, you can create a RAID configuration across these disks. Now, for those of you that don't know what RAID is, basically what it does is it gets a multitude of uh, drives and puts them into one. And what it, the way it does that, it does it by making sure that you've got data right the way across all of the disks. So should you lose one, then you'll always have it on another disk. So RAID 1, for example, would mean that you've got two drives worth of data and then they are mirrored onto the other two drives. So if you lose either one of the two drives, then you can instantly get it back put a spare drive in and immediately it will rebuild your data back onto it. Meaning that you've got a much higher level of resilience against data loss than you would have in, for example, a tablet, a phone, uh, a normal computer, a laptop, for example. Now this one's got a whole bunch more functionality which I'll come back to in just a second. So NAS, when would you use it? Well like I say, you can use it as a centralized storage point on your home network, for example, or your business network. NAS is huge in the enterprise, and again, we'll come back to that later on. But, for example, if you want to back up all of your machines to a single place without going through the cloud and paying monthly subscriptions and all that kind of stuff, then you can do that. Inbuilt onto the software of these NAS devices gives you all of the flexibility and functionality to be able to back up all of your PCs to it, all of your data, all of your photos, your videos, all of the stuff that's really important to you that you really don't want to lose. Now, additionally, you may have a situation where you've got a multitude of machines on your network or even just one, and you want to store all of your data on 
a setup that is resilient and redundant against some kind of loss. Me, for example, here, I've got my setup here, I've got my Mac Pro under the table. I don't store any of my data on my Mac Pro at all. All of my data is held on the QNAP TVS 871T, which I showed you in a previous video, and I'll link that uh, down in the video description. So that means that if my whole computer breaks, I can literally ship in a new one, put the applications back on it. I don't have to spend hours and hours or days even restoring data because it's already held completely separately to the main machine. Now we don't really run PC or Mac based applications on the NAS, they are really for data, but the NAS devices now, they have their own fully fledged operating system and they've got ridiculous numbers of applications available for them. You can run WordPress, you can run SQL, you can run antivirus, you can run music. You can do absolutely anything with these NAS devices now. Now, if I look at this one again, the TVS453A, this one is very, very unique because not only does this run QNAP's own version of Linux, the QTS operating system, but it also has another one running at the same time, which is Ubuntu. Now that gives you huge flexibility because you've not only got the application catalog from QNAP themselves, but you've also got a fully fledged Linux operating system running side by side on here with all the applications available to that as well. Now, a lot of people store their data on USB keys, USB fobs, all those USB drives even, and they are very, very susceptible to data loss. Now, with these NAS devices, pretty much all of them from QNAP, on the front here, they've got a USB 3 port just here, and they've also got a synchronization button just above it. So if anyone in the household wants to back up their USB key without so much as turning on a computer, it is very, very easy to do. You plug it in, you press the button, and it will synchronize the whole lot over and tell you when it's finished. So that's a very, very nice, easy way of being able to back up all of those mobile data parts. Now around on the back, this one in particular, this is fully 4K capable. So this has got 4K HDMI ports here, two of them, three USB 3, four gigabit LAN ports, just in case you're worried about network speed. And then we've also got something very unique, which is two microphone inputs here. And you can set this up as its own karaoke device. Yes, this thing has a karaoke application as well as full support for 7.1 audio as well in terms of audio out. So this is a fully fledged home entertainment system right here. Additionally to that, you can run all of your own network services off of it. And additionally to that, you can store all of your data securely if you want to with the very, very latest encryption that won't slow it down at all. And also re resilient as well against any kind of loss of maybe one of these drives on here. If you want to, you can even put SSDs in here if you want it to be crazy fast. But what you have to remember is when you're using multiple drives in unison with one another, it doesn't just write to one at a time, it writes to them all at the same time. So instead of having the speed of just one disk, you've got the speed of multiple disks, which gives you a much, much faster storage solution than you would typically get on maybe your home PC or something like that. Now this is just one of the devices that's out there. Like I say, this one is pretty unique, so I wanted to show you guys uh, that particular one, but there are absolutely loads out there. Now one of the great things with all of these NAS solutions from QNAP is that it's not just for your internal network to access. If you want to give people access to this remotely, you can do that as well. Now you can pick and choose who has remote access, either via network addresses or via authentication, usernames and passwords. It's completely up to you. QNAP has a whole range of applications to give you access to your photos, your videos, to manage the device itself. And if you want to, you can even put cameras, CCTV cameras on your local network and get access to all of that stuff via your smartphone as well. Now, if you guys want to go into a whole bunch of detail about what each one of these units can do, check out one of my reviews of a QNAP device and that tells you everything you need to know back to front. But let's look at another device. This one here is another NAS device. In here, two bays, so we can fit two drives in here. We've also got the synchronization button on the front. We've also got the ability to do it with an SD card as well for quickly backing up all of your photos and videos from your DSLR or from your compact camera. Round on the back, we've got four USB ports, HDMI, gigabit ethernet, and also the power as well. This one, however, has no fan and is completely silent. So you can put this in your living room, no problem whatsoever, connect it up to your TV and use this as your complete home entertainment system. 
Now, something extra that this one has got that again is very, very unique by QNAP. This one not only runs their own operating system, but it also runs Android side by side. So this thing runs full-fledged Android. All of the apps that are available in the Play Store are available to you on this device, and it becomes a fully-fledged PC. All of these, if you want to plug in a monitor, a mouse, and a keyboard, you can use this as a fully-fledged Linux machine, for example, or in this case, Android. It's completely up to you. Very, very flexible, very functional, and obviously gives you all of that peace of mind around your videos and whatnot as well. Now, this is another one that we've got here to show you. This one here is the TS251 Plus. So this sits below the one we looked at earlier, the 453. Uh, this one is a two bay device, very, very simple. Round on the back here, we've got the two gigabit ethernet ports, HDMI, some more USB, and we've also got that all important sync here on the front for your USB uh, keys and fobs and all of that kind of stuff as well. Now, here is one of my particular favorite devices. This one here is the HS251 Plus. Now this one, again, completely fanless, looks fantastic. Look at the finish on it, it just looks sublime. It really, really is a very nice device. Again, all of the usual kind of connectivity and stuff that you would expect around on the back, HDMI, etc., etc. And this will fit inside your TV cabinet, look fantastic, and do a really, really incredible job of serving you up your media through any application that you want to. There is uh, things like Xbox Media Player. There's, there's just so many different applications and configurations that are available. And at the same time, giving you and all of your family access to all of your data securely and also via a kind of resilient setup that means that you're never going to be in that situation where you lose absolutely all of your data, which would be a really horrendous thing, but has at some stage happened to most people. Now, as we step up, like I say, I'm using the TVS 871T, which is an eight bay device. And this one has also got expansion chassis as well. So I've got eight, 16, 24 drive bays in there, which can cater for well over 150 terabytes of data. And then we start getting into the realms of enterprise. Now, I'm gonna stop it there, but if you guys wanna see more around enterprise, around virtualization, VMware, Citrix, all of this stuff, let me know and I'm gonna continue this series of videos and introduce you guys to all of that stuff and hopefully it will be of interest. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I very much hope that you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, please do leave them down below or follow me on Twitter or my Facebook page or profile or whatever you wanna do and hopefully I can answer your questions on there. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.